Chat, are we the ones that got bumped out of the way? Because it seems weird that we're so uniformly bumped out of the way, but... What the... <sighs> you take care, Red Death. Enjoy the the stream vod, mate. All right. Well, fair enough. Not gonna ask questions, I guess. What I am gonna do is make it so. It is done. What an absolute unit of a ship we now have. Sadly, what we don't have... Oh, no, there we are. We now have enough crew. Uh, what is your top speed? Probably not going to know for a little while. Oh, no. Okay, you need to stop. <sighs> this is the problem. People are, people are jumping all over the ship. I need to go and get some crew! No, stop running away! Hercules! Go. Fire ant. Go. We've got to help. Go, go, go. You're not helping fire, fire ant? You're part of the problem! Uh, are we bullying someone? I think we may be bullying someone right now. Uh, sorry, that, my not my intention, I assure you. I do, in fact, believe someone is being bullied by us right now. So, what I would like is to hire crew. Hi. Uh, yes. Thank you. I would like more money to hire more crew. Well, first, actually, I'd like 20, 20, 20, 20, just so I can re make repairs and five. Five, there we are. Those are repair um, materials, basically. But Hercules can uh, hopefully make some money. Ooh, EMP missile delivery. You want 90 EMP missiles, except... trade. Got a little bit of extra cash for that. Ching. Ka Ching. Perfect. You will get uh, 360 extra for that is basically nothing, really, I guess. It probably costs us more materials, honestly. Um, go ahead and sell... 5... 10 processes, please. Buy this, 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 and that. With that, let's go ahead and start hiring crew. Can't hire them, not famous enough. Damn it. Alright. Is that going to be the same here? Probably. Yeah, okay. Right, well, the remainder of the crew need to be transferred across then from the Hercules. I am so sorry about this, Hercules. But I need 19 crew. 
Oh god, the Hercules is down to 26 grim. Oh, it's painful. Oh, it's so painful. Oh, I was meant to grab the update. Yeah, <laughs> I completely forgot. Sorry, chat. I, uh, in my defense, in my defense, uh, I was reminded because uh, while I was making my my tea, Lady Shiad reminded me. Hey, uh, we've got house inspection on the tenth. Because uh, sorry, at, at ten a.m., which is in four hours for me, um, because there's a bunch of stuff they need to have a quick uh, quick glance at and make sure it's all okay. Uh, so I was a little bit distracted by that. I apologize. Uh, and then I rushed back. I was like, okay, I'm going to just try and get things done as quickly as I can so that I don't end up uh, having to end the stream too early before I've managed to do stuff. So I apologize about that. Uh, I, could, I could drive that forward a little bit if I wanted to, but I don't think I do. Yeah, plus the station moved, which was a little bit distracting, I won't lie. Alright. So now that we've got everyone in here, time for us to set all of this up. So first and foremost, I'm going to mark certain things, certain areas, for certain materials only. I really should have a hyper jump drive down here, but uh, that'll be something for another time. I want sulfur here only. There and there. Uh, I do not want anything else limited. You go ahead, put that whatever you want, wherever you want. Now, in terms of the movement of materials, we'll start from the top. That seems fair. This goes in there. This reactor... Supplies energy to everything in this area, but only the things in this area. Bollocks. Let's uh, do that again then, I suppose. It does help if you turn on symmetry mode. Not gonna lie. Very helpful. That's good. Looks like everything is done on that side. Yep. Okay. This is going to supply energy to everything down there. This one supplies energy to all of these all the way down. Uh, right, next. Hook up all of that. Also there. Oh, you're not meant to be uh, giving anything to that. This is meant to. And that is also meant to. There we go. That's done. Should be the same on this side. Yep. Okay, down here. Oh, is that one set up for only Hyperion? Yes, it is good. So that's all set on there as well. Ooh. Little uh, hole there. Let's fill that back in. Yep. These really do go anywhere. They're just extras. Yeah, that's all done. It's that side as well. And now finally down here. That's all hooked up. These will now also help out there. And each one will also help in there. This feeds in. That feeds in. Ah, crap. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It does have a door there. I was, for a moment there, I was like, oh, no, I've, I've messed that up. But no, we're good. We are, in fact, good. Okay. So with that done... Now time to go through the various crew roles. So starting from the bottom this time. Operators. Uh, porters here. So let's uh, designate them. I'm not sure. Like, 
if I tell... Let's have a look. All the crew squads to operate and support specific weapons of other ship systems. If I don't tell them that they're allowed to use a fire extinguisher, like, if I tell them to have squad mode, will they ever go for that fire extinguisher? Because I just don't know if that's how that works. They'll never touch it. Well, that's just not useful to me. I want you to also go for that one then. So let's just make sure that they are willing to go and grab the fire extinguishers as needed. Uh, you handle this. You handle that. I would like you both to grab that fire extinguisher. In fact, you're welcome to grab all of these fire extinguishers. There we go. Right, so that's that job done. You will specifically handle the requests for all of these. Same with you. Over here, I need one uh, supply. You specifically handle this job. You specifically handle the energy here, which should be hooked up correctly, yep. Yep, yep, it is. Good. So that side's already done as well. And right. You are a supplier. That's all you do. And to that end, same with you. You handle those, which, again, should already be set up. Yep. You handle these as well. And that should take care of all of that. I like no squad mode assignments will only go to those rooms. Uh, point defenses do not use crew. No, they just use energy. Uh, but one thing to be aware of: there are both pull and push requests. And what I mean by that is that a room might say, like, that there is a difference between a room saying "I need energy" and an energy producer saying "I have energy to give." Both types of requests exist in this game. So, for example, by telling uh, a person, hey, this room is the place that you work. If a fire started in here, that room would create a job saying, put the fire out inside this room. And because someone is assigned to the room, they'd probably go and grab the nearest fire extinguisher to bring it over and put it out. As long as that fire extinguisher was allowed to be assigned to it. So if this fire extinguisher had no, like, this fire extinguisher is only to be used in this room. If that was the case, then it would not be considered. But let's say, like, I had no assignments for the energy here, and this was out of energy. It would be like, I need energy. So they would look for any valid energy source and go and grab it. Also, I need a door there. I just realized. Um, let's pop that in. Dunk. On both sides. Thank you. Yeah, just make sure those are done. Yep. No, that one isn't done. I wonder why not. Weird. Oh, no, it is. It's just... Uh, it's close. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, the door is open. Um, so, that would be one way of putting out a fire. But, if you tell them to be assigned to the fire extinguisher, any room which has a fire that that fire extinguisher can access, they will consider that a job for them to do, because the fire extinguisher is pushing the job. And because they're assigned to serve this room, they consider both the push and the pull requests. Uh, right. Let's get back to crew assignments. That's all done. That's all done. Now, in here... 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, and... I guess I'm just going to have to put them in both directions. Uh, I need then you to be a porter and you to be a supplier. You supply that. You supply this. It's kind of a an odd one to go for this one, but uh, we'll we'll make it work. 
Anyone can use this fire extinguisher. Just make sure that that is properly hooked up. Yes, it is. That's all done on that side. Make sure the crew assignments are correct. Yes, they are. All right, now then. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why? Uh, right, so let's start with over here. I've got ops. All of the ops. I've got then one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So operators, and then we want suppliers. Let's say you work there, you work there, and then these will very specifically handle these jobs only. They don't run this. This, I could tell them to serve this, but then they, they'd walk all over the place, whereas I want to dedicate two people to each one of these individually. That is their sole job. That's the only thing they care about doing. Oh, crap. I need porters over here. Got it. That's another four crew I need to pull. Ah, Hercules is going to be very sad. Hercules is going to be so sad. Such a sad Hercules. Right. Uh, you handle this one. You handle that one. And that. Let's get you working on that one. Absolutely everyone here can use all of these. As necessary. Okay, that should be... Oop. That should be both sides fully set up now. Uh, okay. I think if I had this game right now, I'd be forced to design my ships along actual design lines. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, you totally could go for that. Right, we need one, two for operators, that's it. Uh, one for porter, and then two for suppliers. Porter, two suppliers. You do that. You handle the requests of all three of these. Uh, you also handle the uh, fire extinguisher. And both of you handle the energy requirements. And, and this is literally, you go wherever you need to. Because there's a lot of things that'll pull energy from there. I think that's it. Sadly, I do need some more staff, though. That is painful. Down to 22 crew. <laughs> We're less than a third of the crew complement for the Hercules now. Now let's have a watch. Are they loading it as necessary? Right, let's start shifting stuff around. So this needs to go. Actually, let's grab. This, this, oh no, it doesn't. Put that over there. Unfortunately, the crew don't automatically move things around, which is a bit of a pain because I would like that. Oh well.
I think what we'll probably do... Actually, it's going to be so much faster if I simply... Oh, no, sorry. Transfer... Oh, sorry. Double sorry. Transfer everything across to the... Uh, the Hercules. And then transfer things back. So, transfer all of that. All of these. I don't need any EMP missiles, to be fair. And initiate transfer. Yeah, I was thinking they would probably move it around. More than likely, what I need to do is give them access to those areas occasionally. Uh, additionally, I just noticed that I do need these to be uh, retargeted. This one targets my enemy. That one, that one, that's fine. Because I moved this out a little bit, so these targets were lost. There we go. Uh, this should be, I guess, fire at whatever. Yeah, fire at will. If you can, if you can actually get sight of something, engage it. Right, now. First and foremost, copy over. Uh, let's go for 200 for now. Plenty of all of the crafting materials, 5-5. Five, five. But then... 100 salt, well... 150 sulfur for now. See how that looks. What that looks like. They should prioritize bringing things like sulfur and such back to the correct locations now. We're going to want a lot more sulfur, I fancy. Oh. Uh, let's bring over... Uh, wait, 25. Five. And... A fair old bit more... Hyperion, honestly. Let's take it all the way up to 400, I think. We should transfer. Who seems like the most difficult thing to manage in this game? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's easily the most difficult thing to manage in the game, actually. Right. I think we're basically there. Are you ready for us to take this out on, a, on its maiden voyage? As it stands. Sure, we're going to need to edit this name. At this point, realistically, this is the Mark V. Because I meant to update it to the Mark IV after the last uh, episode. Yeah, DPR1 is ultra chunk now. DPR-1 is also ultra-slow, probably. One thing I would like to do, though, is have these focusing on this point and turn them both on to infinite. Are you going to be able to manage that comfortably? I don't think they'll ever struggle to keep that going. Yeah, we, we've now got pretty much infinite ion beams. Perfect. All right. Time 
for us to get out there. Where are we going? Uh, we've got a target area over there. Got to contact a station down there. Destroy a pirate bay. Let's not destroy a pirate bay, shall we? Uh, let's poke around. Find some secrets. We're just... Should I just take... That, that feels like hubris. But... You know what? Sure. We're going to take it out on its maiden voyage by itself. I want to see what this thing can do by itself. Having the fire ant close by might be wise, though, if I'm honest. Oh, my lord. Yeah, it really would be. Okay, fire ant, you are actually needed after all. Hi. It's probably going to just be lots of little ships again. Go for the bridge. Now, what I want to see... Uh, that is the range of our ion system. But I do want to bring it within range of its... Uh, sorry, of its uh, railgun system. So it's going to be able to engage a lot sooner than, than um, normal. Right. Let's uh, expand that out a little bit. Watch for that to fire. Really, it hasn't fired yet. Ah, uh, to be fair, the ion beams are able to focus a lot sooner. Never mind. That's one down. Next up. Uh, just go for the... Center point. Well, there I'm gonna say. And I want that to be your save attack defaults. Right. I want to watch how the engines are doing. As long as the engines aren't shutting down for any reason. Oh. Okay, so uh, we took off a bit of armor. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, maybe I should tell it only to fire at what I tell it to, honestly. Rotate the ship until you can hit something. Don't just fire the moment you can. No, the ions are not longer range in the rail. Really not. Okay, that was a nice hit there. Let's go back. Okay, so we took a bit of a a blow from EMP there. Super shield is down. Point defense taking out the cannon shots. And the ship is dead. Dapper 3 is on the way. Uh, go ahead. Once again, let's aim for the bridge. Problem is, you're going to have to go through a, sh a ship in order to do this. It's kind of annoying. On the plus side, that ship is now, in effect, acting like uh, protection, but... Uh, Scarboy. Activate your boosters, please. Just get back. In a moment, the other... Ion will probably come online. Never mind, doesn't need to. Yep. Go for the bridge. More turning thrusters up here, really. Did that actually do any that? Oh, it went through there. Fair enough. side is actually engaging. Not really getting to see the ion weapon in play, to be honest. That one just went out of power. 
But that was because the boost effect just ended. That's why it's completely shut down, because it, it can't regain... Oh. Oh, now. That uh, rail just went straight through and took out the bridge. Beauteous. Loading quickly. We've got plenty of energy. Hey, Otalix, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're feeling better. I caught your uh, message. You were uh, having a bit of a rough one. Hope the stream was good and Randy uh, played nice. If he didn't, just tell Cassie she'll beat him up. You'll sulk horribly for a few weeks. But we all know that Cassie is the, uh, is the dominant one in that relationship. Ship tour! A ship tour? All right. Which ship? Or all ships? Randy did not play nice. <sighs> well, at least, you know, you can, you can look at it from the perspective of at least Randy's consistent. All of them. All right. All right. Well, first and foremost, let's get a shout out for Italics in chat. Chat, if you don't already follow Italics, then please do avail yourself of the link at the top of the chat, which will uh, allow you to drop a follow without even leaving the comfort of your current stream. It is truly electro wizardry. Randy killed our starting colonists with the flu and then sent a medic man in black after they were already dead. And then his head got blown off by a one-armed, one-legged, shotgun-wielding, delicate wimp hyped up on Gojuice. Uh, you see, I'm I'm now I don't know why, but like like the grindhouse B movie kind of uh, style. I I am imagining this wimp, wimpy go juice addict shotgun wielder doesn't wield the shotgun in their one arm. They walk on it as a peg leg, and kills your man in black by just like high kicking. With the shotgun, it's 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 really cinematic in my head, and I don't know why it's got this very like Lawrence of Arabia desert theme going. I I don't know where my brain is going with this, but it's amazing. However, you want a ship tour? All right. Well, first and foremost, we have spent the last uh, four-ish hours working on ships, um, specifically this ship. We spent two hours of the four hours designing this ship from very humble beginnings um and then the next two hours using this ship to gather materials to build it so uh, we'll start the ship tour here with the hercules the hercules is my factory freighter uh it does need a little bit of a redesign it is it is a very empty factory freighter right now because i i use the the vast stores which it was literally chock a block up to the gills in materials all on building the uh the completely redesigned scarab i haven't updated uh, updated yet neo no uh, i was a little bit distracted at the start uh, when i came back from the tea break by you know the the fact that npc had stolen my station which i was uh, under the false impression that i would be totally safe parked by and then they just decided to push it away so i've repositioned the hercules on the other side and we're basically playing a tug of war right now with the station in between it's don't ask. It's just a thing. But this is my uh, this is my freighter. It does uh, all my mining with mining lasers and uh, factory stuff. The backbone of the fleet. Very true. Very true. This is the fire ant. I'm very very happy with the uh, the paint. I've gone into using um, dark fades to create the impression of elevation and shadow. You can really get into this game in a big design way. This is our missile cruiser. It used to be a fighter. Once long ago, it was about this big. Uh, and it, it, it was probably smaller than the mandibles in total size. Now, it is this. Uh, we've got plenty of thruster clusters. We've got the command and control deck. This was my first attempt at making a ship which is 
effectively modular, with each module is self-contained. So each thruster cluster is completely self-contained. Once the crew were in there, they never leave to, need to leave. Uh, we've already kind of commented on on how this may be a little bit misleading. You know, I'm, I'm a super famous space adventurer pirate sometimes, dude. And I can imagine that, you know, because uh, crew are gated by your fame, how many crew you can have. At this point, you know, you have to be relatively famous in order to get more crew to join you. And I can imagine sh rocking up to a station and, you know, these young, you know, young bucks looking to make a name for themselves, signing up with the, the dread pirate Avac, and uh, then they get assigned to a thruster cluster, and now they sleep under an engine. It wasn't the life that they imagined for themselves, but it's the life they got. Uh, over here, the, this is the large thruster cluster. This one is the, my main forward propulsion. This is the command and control center. It's got some better shielding and uh, lots of point defense. Then over here, the four thruster cluster. This one is mostly turning very little reverse because this is not built to reverse. This is built to fly perpendicular uh, along an enemy and just broadside them with missiles. The longer, much faster, much more durable EMP missiles fire out the back, and then I just pelt them with high explosive missiles from the other side. Uncle Pork says, Speaking of remote, I've just finished designing my perfect vampire xenotype. They don't sleep. They move incredibly fast. They're pain resistant, and they only need two hemogen a day and half the normal amount of food to live. Now my entire colony can be vampy boys as long as we have a handful of blood bag prisoners. I love the fact that you've still got blood bag prisoners. And you know, since they only need two hemogen a day, you've drastically reduced the amount of hemogen needed. Thus, you've reduced the size of blood bag necessary to sustain the colony. Now, in one direction, you go with you just have squats, tiny, tiny people, or in the other direction. Very, very tiny people. Like, like not fully formed tiny people yet. Very space efficient. You can stick them in boxes and put them on shelves. And you know the lovely thing about shelves is they can store three small corpses. So it stands to reason they can store three compact tiny people in boxes. I think this is the best plan. Uh, now, as for the scarab, now the the paint is. Uh, mess because we've just redesigned it and the way the, the game works is like the paint is on its own layer but the shape of the, the ship just changed so the plate paint is all over the place that is what we're going to be working on uh, but to go over this is a very densely armored ship it is my primary brawler well it's not really a brawler it's an artillery ship but realistically this is the one that I want to have the uh, the uh, main focus from the enemies and then uh, it can uh, draw their fire while the fire and just basically circle strafes the uh, the enemy and just smacks them in the thrusters with missiles uh, so again thruster clusters back here but we have got a spinal railgun mount now there is a caveat with railguns and this is why I've got so many layered shields at the front railguns explode if something were to damage this enough that it broke, it would cause a chain reaction that would just go boom, 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 all the way down the ship. Now, once it got here, it would blow up reasonably large because it's got stored ammo, but not like a large storage of ammo. Sulfur doesn't explode. Bullets do. So, you know, I'm making the bullets as I'm using them. However, we'll get to why that isn't a problem in a moment. Uh, over here, we've got thruster clusters again. They're just isolated. Um, large stockpile of sulfur so I can make bullets. Uh, miscellaneous storage and the porters to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. No wonder you weren't doing stuff. You're not porters. My God. I hired a bunch of porters and they don't even know how to port. Bloody operators. Uh, the various crew 
uh, assignments here and then just uh, doing their jobs. We've got another thruster cluster over here. Operators are set up with... It's very much like RimWorld, actually, in the job uh, priorities. So you've got all different jobs that you can set up at different priority levels. Um, and uh, operators primarily focus on, on running stations. Energy suppliers primarily focus on hauling energy around, and porters focus on hauling everything else. Uh, further on, then, we've got command and control. Now, you might notice we've got two command and control. Um, we don't need two. But we'll come back to this. Uh, each one has got their own scanner. Doesn't help to have two scanners. Only one scanner is necessary. Yeah, okay. Uh, moving on. Thruster cluster. This is my main um, reverse cluster. Shields, so on and so forth. Ion prisms. Uh, I love the way the uh, the lasers merge. Uh, these ones, though, instead of going up the middle now, because that's uh, reserved for my uh, rail gun. Oh, by the way, we've also like stuffed a bunch of small, tiny humans in boxes along these these very narrow walkways. They they their entire life now is just loading ammo into the very explosive railgun uh, racks. Uh, they they love it. Uh, it's a very prestigious job. Their family are extremely extremely excited that they managed to. To snag that is a lot of competition um look you know the job market is pretty fucking brutal in space okay it's gotten bad you thought 2020 was bad oh my lord uh right so the ion beams over here merge up into single beams and then this crystal fires to this crystal and this is an aiming crystal so it basically acts like a turret uh then uh, these are fed by the largest reactors. If this got hit, if this got damaged and to the point it, it, it uh, broke, the explosion would probably gut the inside of the ship. Um, this whole section would not be there anymore. It might even be enough to train react this one. Very, very explodey. Very bad. 